Hello, hello, and welcome back to another Search for Next video. Today's video, I'm talking about the rumors going on about a Resident Evil 1 remake remake. That's right, another remake to Resident Evil 1. Now, for those who don't know, I'm a huge Resident Evil fan. I've played nearly every entry in the entire franchise, minus a couple of games. And Resident Evil 1 Remake is in my top 10 games of all time. It's my favorite game in the Resident Evil franchise. I would have huge expectations if Capcom did go through with the remake of this game. Now, the article that I'm going through is from Game Rant. And they have a couple of bullet points that I'll go and discuss in this video. So first up is, fixed camera angles are gone. Well, I would think so. I feel like at this point, Capcom wants to keep the Resident Evil 1 remake if they do make it. They would want to keep it in line with what they did with Resident Evil 2, 3, and Resident Evil 4. As those remakes did not have fixed camera angles, I think us ever getting another game that featured fixed camera angles in the Resident Evil series is slim to none. Unless Capcom decided to make a, I don't know, spin-off to the franchise where they harken back to the classics, or if they made HD remasters of Resident Evil 1, 2, and 3 in a collection. And I think only then that's when they would revisit the fixed camera angle formula. But for this game, it just doesn't make sense for them to go fix camera angle. Unless they decided we'll have a bonus mode where we'll have the fixed camera angles. But I highly doubt Capcom is interested in doing that. We could just leave it up to the modders for them to figure it out. As I've seen a couple of videos of Resident Evil 2 Remake having some fixed camera angles. And it looks quite cool. So I, I'm not expecting fixed camera angles whatsoever. The second bullet point. No pre-rendered backgrounds, and I think that also falls in line with the fixed camera angles, as if you have an over-the-shoulder perspective, you're not going to be able to rotate the camera when the backgrounds are pre-rendered. That just doesn't make any sense to me. Again, Capcom is thinking modern Resident Evil, so if they're going to remake Resident Evil 1, they're going to do it in the modern style. The next bullet point is Crimson Heads to Return. I would think so. I don't want them to cut out enemies or substantial content to the Resident Evil 1 remake, remake, from remake. <laughs> you know, like, my problem with the Resident Evil 2 remake, and even the Resident Evil 3 remake, even though I have a complete separate issue with that game alone, it's just, they cut enemies out and they really didn't replace it with anything new. They cut out the spiders, the giant moth, the IV enemies were changed, and I think that's that was a disappointment. And not only that, the well, I'll get into that with the next bullet point, so I'll save it for there. So that just doesn't make sense for Capcom to cut out enemies from Resident Evil 1 when Resident Evil 1 really didn't have that many enemies to begin with. So what I would hope is they would add new enemies, but I'll get into that later with my own opinions on things they should add to the game. So the Crimson Head being gone just does not make sense to me. I think that'd be quite foolish for the Crimson Heads to be removed. The next bullet point is Bullet Sponges Zombies. Now, that was my huge issue with the Resident Evil 2 remake. Killing zombies was annoying. I could empty out an entire clip of my handgun and they would still be alive. So what I ended up doing most of the time is shooting them in the leg and they would crawl on the floor for the rest of the game. So the only annoyance in that aspect would be me returning to rooms and avoiding all the downed zombies on the ground, which was extra annoying when I had Mr. X chasing me down at the worst possible moment. So I'm kind of hoping that's not the case with this game. What I really feel like they should do is just stick with burning the zombies. To me, that already adds enough tension to the game, whether or not you have enough kerosene or maybe some lighter fluid they can add. Maybe you have only a certain amount of uses with that to burn the zombies. I think that's where the real tension can come from. So I don't think they need to make the enemies all bullet spongy. I think that would be an awful idea. And the last bullet point is game will be on current consoles only, as it should. We should stop making games. Well, not we. Uh, <laughs> these game companies should stop making games for the PS4 and the Xbox One. Let those systems die. Take advantage of the hardware capabilities of the current platforms and really make something special. 
because I feel like the previous gen is holding back the current gen, and I have yet to really see any games, or not a lot of games, truly take advantage of these current consoles, and that's quite unfortunate. Now, things I would like to see for the game, as a big fan of the Resident Evil 1 remake and the franchise as a whole, add more enemies. And with that, new areas as well. So maybe, for whatever reason, you need to leave the mansion vicinity. So maybe you make your way to a lake or a swamp-like area or even the Arclay Mountains itself. And with those new areas, you can add new creatures that were infected by the T-Virus. So I think there's a lot of potential there. And imagine going through Raccoon Forest, it's dark. All you have is a flashlight or a lighter, and you can't hear or see anything. But then you hear a little ruffling in the bushes and a couple of Cerberuses like surround you. I think that would be pretty cool. I think there's a lot of potential if Capcom did add new areas. And of course, we could always have new weapons. So there's a lot of potential for new content without butchering the original content. Just add to the game, don't remove what we previously had, like the Resident Evil 2 remake did, and especially the Resident Evil 3 remake. So I think that would be pretty cool. And also, what I would like to see is Barry and Rebecca being more integral to the plot of the game. Whereas in the original game, if you play as Jill, you only interact with Barry. Play as Chris, you only interact with Rebecca. So I'd like to see both characters be in both character scenarios. I think that would be pretty cool. And also they can utilize the surviving Bravo team up until that point in the game. So maybe you see Enrico a couple of times and have some interactions with him. Same thing with Richard. And maybe even characters that were dead already when you got to the mansion, they're alive in the game but die in different ways in the remake such as Kenneth or Forrest, so that would be pretty cool. And that's really all I can think about for now with what I would like to see from a Resident Evil 1 remake remake. If you think the game should be remade or not, definitely give your thoughts in the comments below. And as always, this has been another Surge of the Next video. Have a good one and peace. Super Retro Force. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like and comment below your thoughts on today's topic. Please consider subscribing to the channel and hit that bell to be notified